Hello guys, I hope it's going. Okay, I'm going to share with you today my craft project planner. Uh, I'll share with you how I plan for it. Uh, someone was asking me if I would share with them how um, I organize my planner. I'm trying to get this set. I went ahead and uh, did some decorating and planning so it wouldn't take up so much time on video. But I just put stickers all the way down the side here because if you remember my previous uh, crafting uh, planner video where I took my health planner and turned it into a craft planner. Well, this section here had to do with uh, health stuff and so I didn't want it showing in my craft planner. So I just put stickers down the side there. It says, from the heart, remember this day. The little things are often the biggest things. This section here was like what you would keep track of different things. Excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. What you keep track of different things for your health-wise. So, I put stickers across there to cover up the sayings. Um, which are like things like focus on looking inward, daily gratitude, uh, joy of today, reflections, today was, thankful for... And that's what these sections was for here. So, I took some little stickers and this one says, The Best Things in Life. And then I have a cup of coffee and crafting supplies there. <laughs> Finding Happiness. And I put a little swan between it because those two little stickers didn't quite meet in the middle. So, I put a swan over it. This says, Wonderful. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Hey, sunshine, dreaming, fun, and fresh. And this is three hearts, but the way I put it, it looks kind of like a bow. Then I put, like, craft scissors, tape, a stamp, and glue, or either um, paint. Um, then I just put some checkpoints on each block here in the middle. Um, I just put one checkpoint on Saturday, and then I put a planner that fills up Saturday and some um, fills up Sunday and some of Saturday because I don't usually do any crafting on Sunday if I do it's just my planner but I usually try to get my planner done on Saturday so I just put it right there and that way I will do my planner either Saturday or, or Sunday and um, so that's what I got the planner there planner sticker and it says plan now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some washi tape down. Um, I want, this, this is a little, it's black, it's very thin strip washi tape. It's black with, I'm saying silver hearts. One way you hold it, the hearts look silver. Another way you hold it, they kind of look like gold. They look gold. I'm thinking they're silver, though. But I'm going to put them here on top. I wanted to do some decorating on camera. Um... I was trying to pick that up. The scissors. <laughs> I was trying to pick it up. Um, and I'm going to put a strip here on the bottom of each page of the black with the silver hearts. I don't usually put gold and silver together, but like I said, some... Certain ways you hold it, it kind of looks gold, and I thought that's what I had was gold. 
until I actually started putting it down. And then I realized it was silver hearts, which is okay. We're going to go with it this time. We're not going to worry about it. Okay. And then, you know, I, I've already got these stickers here to cover that line. I'm going to use this washi tape that has like a dotted line and it has scissors like it's cutting the dotted line. I'm going to put it right here at between these two boxes. To cover that up. And since we have the planner there, We're just going to go right up to the planner on this side and take it off and then we're going to come right here and you know what it's going to be so a little bit amount I'm hoping I can tear it. Yes. But it just puts a couple of little dots there and makes it look like it went under the planner. So that's what we're doing for washi tape. Now, as far as organizing my planner, what I do is, okay, I am in several face group, face group boot, boots. <laughs> I am in several face book groups <laughs> uh, craft groups so uh, they have projects for you to do so what I do is um, I wrote these down but I'm gonna I'm gonna change that a little bit I'm just using a, a white out roller for when I mess up and I think I just ran out. So that ain't gonna work. I gotta get me another one. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it's just kinda got messed up. Let me see if I can roll it. Okay, I think that's I think that might have fixed it. And it might not have. Goodness, what is wrong with this thing? It, I must be running out. Because it is really showing out here. I like to use the, the white out tape instead of using a white out pen. But it is really showing out today for some reason. Okay. I have wrote something down there, but I want to word it different. It's going to be the same thing, just I'm wording it differently. But um, I have a group that I'm in called um, Pocket Letters and More USA. And then I'm in a group called um, Paper Crafting Junkies. And then I'm in a group... Um, called um, Vintage Glue Books, Vintage Glue Books, and uh, I forget how it's worded. Hang on here, guys. Uh, okay, I told you the pocket letters and more. Um, glint. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Hang on. Vintage glue books and pages. And the paper outpost. Um, so it's four groups I'm in. So I have a swap that I had entered on the pocket letter. Well, I've actually entered two swaps. But one that is due 
um, the 27th. So it's called April Color Challenge. So I'm going to um, write down here, I'm going to put P, L, and M, USA. I don't know what that means. That's Pocket Letters and More USA. And I'm uh, going to be working on the April color challenge. So I put that there. Um, now as far as entering into a challenge or something, a swap that I have a certain amount of time to do something, I haven't. Uh, but there is projects that we work on in um, the Vintage Glue Book and Pages group. So I am going to, on Monday, I'm going to do the April Color Challenge and get it ready to send out. Um, on Tuesday, I'm going to work in the, um, this is going to be actually pages that I work on in my junk journals. And that's what I had was junk journals there, but I want to uh, do something from a Pacific group. So it's going to be the... Um, Vintage Glue Book and Pages is what I'm working going to be working on um, on Tuesday. Let me get my white out pen because there's a little bit writing here that didn't get covered up. It's not supposed to be there. Okay. So, instead of just putting a junk journal, I want to do something from this particular group here on Tuesday. Okay. So, then I've also entered another challenge on the pocket letters and more. Um, that is due on May 4th. So I'm going to go ahead and put here P, L, and M, USA. And this is called uh, Keep It Flat. So that's what I'm going to work on on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, I want to work on the... Uh, things from the paper outpost okay the group from the paper outpost then on um, Friday I want to work in my um, napkin journal So, that is basically the way I organize and, and the way I plan for my um, crafting. I, uh, I had put more than one uh, project per day, but I found that that's just more than I can handle with uh, housework and then days that I just don't plain don't feel like doing anything. Plus, if you know anything much about me, I also have reborn dolls, and uh, I like to change their clothes and do videos with them, so I like to spend time doing that. So, I'm only going to be doing one craft project a day. Now, like I said, I don't necessarily plan for anything except for planning in my planners for Saturday and Sunday, so that's why I have this here. So, on Saturday and Sunday is when I work in doing my catch-all planner, getting it set up for the next week, and in my um, craft planner, getting it set up for the next week. So, that's what I do. Uh, this time, I did just last week, I decorated, not last week, I had a lot of white space last week, because uh, I didn't do anything hardly last week. Um, so let me go ahead. This was last week's, and 
basically all I did last week was work on uh, my diamond paintings and play with my dolls. And I did this as an afterthought. I didn't even decorate last week. I just did last week's this morning. So it wouldn't be blank. Uh, so I really just didn't feel good last week and didn't do much of anything. Um, which... Um, you know, I may go ahead because a lot of times I work on my diamond painting early in the morning, like early. Um, because that's not something I really have to think about. So I think I'm going to put diamond painting down also. And I'm going to put it down for every day. Because this is something I, most days I do work on my diamond paintings. Um, so this is going to be something that I put down for every day. Sorry about the silence here, guys. Um, every day, Monday through Friday, anyway. Um, because my husband's usually working those days. And I get up early with him. Early, early. And I stay up a little while with him. And so, um, usually thing, I work on my diamond paintings, like, early in the morning times. So, but, um... Like I said, I didn't even decorate uh, week 13 through 19 until this morning. And so I just put what I could on there to make it look pretty nice and wrote down. I mainly played with my dolls last week. Um, and, um, or, yeah, this past week, and did my diamond painting. So I just did that. But see, what I was saying is, uh, I usually just decorate it all, like two rolls because all I need is one roll to do writing. So I usually like decorate both rolls here or, or two of the rolls, whichever way I do it. And see, I had like two or three projects a day um, and that just didn't work. That week, it just, I didn't get them all. <laughs> I put a check by the ones I did manage to complete. Um... I did both here, not on Monday. I did both of Mondays, but not on Monday. I did both of Tuesdays, but not on Tuesday. And I only did diamond painting on Wednesday and Thursday. And Friday, uh, I think I worked on it some. I didn't work on it today. And probably won't work on it tomorrow because it being Sunday. And um, we're supposed to have bad weather again tomorrow. So, I don't know that I'll, you know, do anything like that tomorrow. So, this, yeah, this was Easter Sunday here. But, um, anyway, the, the two, two or three, well, I say two, it's diamond paintings, one of them. But having more than just one project a day is more than I can handle. So, I'm, I'm going back down to just one a day. This week, I didn't decorate one roll. Uh, I thought maybe later on in the week, you know, if I felt like I wanted to, maybe I would stick some more stickers up there. Um, I really just kind of left it in case I needed to write something about one of these groups that I needed to remember. You know, one of these projects or something, I kind of just left it. So I could do that. Uh, it does look pretty blank, but that's the way I did it for this week. I may go back to decorating two rolls next week. We'll just have to see. I'm not fond of a whole lot of white space. Uh, I don't like it just completely covered, but um, um, this just being with nothing there just kind of looks too blank. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave it for this week. Like I said, I may have some instructions or something that I need to write down about one of these projects 
that I'll just uh, jot up above it um, to remind me of what needs to be done or whatever. So that is kind of the way I organize my um, my craft planner and so far it's working pretty good. Like I said, the only thing that didn't work is having more than one paper project, uh, paper crafting project, you know, a, a day. Now, to have the diamond painting and a paper crafting is fine, but um, to have more than one paper crafting project a day is a little bit more than I can handle because I'm going to be incorporating in these days, if I possibly can, also doing things with my dolls. Okay, so um, there it is, and I just have my uh, dashboard here or my bookmark or whatever you want to call it. I put it between the two pages, so when I come in here and my planner's closed, I can just grab that bookmark there, open it up, and I'm at the week that I need to be on. So this here is my April 20 through 26, the week of April 20 through 26 of my craft planner. All right, I hope that answered your question. I'm sorry I can't remember your name, the one that asked me to share how I organized my craft planner. Um, I hope you see this video, and um, I hope it answers answered your questions. I hope it helped you out. If you have any other questions uh, that you need to ask, just leave it in the comments below. And uh, thank y'all so much for stopping by, and I will see you later. Bye!